Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steeler Nation what's on our minds. I'm Melanie Friedlander. Let's face facts. After the third loss in a row, yet another miserable outing, the Steelers' season is basically over. No, they haven't been mathematically eliminated from the playoffs, but any fan watching these cringeworthy games knows that. Even if by some miracle this team makes the playoffs, they will be one and done, and the only thing they will accomplish is a lower draft pick. The only thing worse than that game last night was head coach Mike Tomlin's postgame presser. No clever remarks, nothing of substance. Just his repeated claims that they are a fundamentally poor football team playing losing football. He had no plans for how to fix that, but promised changes because doing the same thing would yield the same results. If that sounds familiar, you're not wrong. He said the same things after the blowout loss to the Houston Texans in week four. And here we are. Without change, we know how the last three games will go. Disgruntled fans, more ugly losses, maybe even a trade request from a player or two. Want a different outcome between now and the end of the regular season? I have a few suggestions for Mike T. First, get a new quarterback. Mitch Trubisky ain't the answer, and he shouldn't be anything more than the emergency third quarterback going forward. Start Mason Rudolph next week, and while you're giving him the first team reps, sign another quarterback. Go shopping on another team's practice squad. See if Nick Foles is really retired. Bring Trace McSorley up from the practice squad and kick the tires. Heck, maybe even give Duck Hodges a call. Don't worry that the new quarterback doesn't know the playbook. Josh Dobbs took over for the Vikings without even knowing their cadence, and Joe Flacco stepped into the Browns' offense from his couch. Don't risk Kenny Pickett's health. I respect that he wants to come back and help the team, and he remains the best quarterback on the current roster. But by his own account, coming back from tightrope surgery so fast in college was a painful experience that made it almost impossible to practice between games. Let Pickett heal and see who he can be with better coaching in 2024. Flip the depth chart. Give the young players who are playing with heart more snaps. See what you have there. All the former Steelers players talking about the lack of want to weren't entirely wrong. Let the effort in practicing games be the way to earn playing time. Make a Landon Roberts the example of who deserves to be on the field. Hold players accountable. No more Mr. Nice Guy. That rushing play where Jalen Warren would have found the end zone for a touchdown if George Pickens had actually made a block instead of standing there like a spectator? Play that clip in a team meeting 10 times in a row. That might actually work better than a private meeting with a frustrated player. Find a way to motivate your team. Whatever you've been doing isn't working. Forget the playoffs and definitely forget the non-losing record. Play spoiler. You're at home next week against the Bengals, who are finally showing signs of life and currently hold a wild card spot. But a loss or two could knock them out. If you're not going to make the postseason, at least take the Bengals down with you. Make it fun for the fans. Add some trick plays. If you're going to keep Presley Harvin as your punter, let him throw a pass. It worked for him in college. When Ben Roethlisberger was sidelined with an elbow injury in 2019, the Steelers went 8-8 eight and eight with Mason Rudolph and Duck Hodges under center. Did we think they were going to win a Super Bowl that year? No, but we were entertained. And while this season won't end any differently, I hope that Mike Tomlin can eject a little bit of WTF into his players and find a way to make the last few games worth watching. That's my take. You can follow me on Twitter at Girl Surgeon. Check out The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on SteelersDepot.com. And check out The Terrible Podcast with Dave Bryan and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.